Oh my god, okay. Did she break her ankle? Hey guys, how's it going? Jessica here. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a photo shoot from America's Next Top Model where the girls become falling fairy tale princesses. I don't know what this photo shoot is going to be. I don't know what kind of princess they're going to be. Princess Peach? You guys, I thought of another princess that they could be. You know Mia Thermopolis from Princess Diaries? I don't know. I don't know why I thought about that. I just wanted to share that. I'm like, oh, another princess. Sometime in your career as a model, you might just accidentally trip and fall on a runway. And you know, all the cameras are going to go take pictures. You got to look graceful actually falling down and looking pretty. Yeah, that's not me at all. One time I fell down a hill. Bro, I tried to rollerblade down a hill. Yeah, my family doesn't let me forget that. They bring it up quite often. It was a bad idea at the time. And it was a bad idea looking at it now. There's a lot of people there. I embarrassed myself. So today we're actually gonna do a photo shoot with you girls kind of falling. We thought we'd make you girls modern day fairy tales. <laughs> Veranda, we're gonna make you Rapunzel. Leslie, we're gonna make you a sexy big bad wolf. W uh, the big bad wolf? He With the porridge and everything? You know, in the house? He dressed up as a grandma? Somebody, anybody who eats porridge definitely gets respect from me. Fairy tales. <laughs> oh, okay. It's modern day fairy tales. Why didn't I think they were going to be do princesses? I should really reread stuff more often. Look at me trying to make princess diaries happen every two seconds. I'm like, but, but Genovia. Jade, you are actually going to be Little Red Riding Hood. Molly Sue, you're going to be Little Boy Blue. Danielle, we're going to have the first Black Snow White. <laughs> Gina, you're going to be Sleeping Beauty. Brooke, have you ever heard of the Emperor's New Clothes? Why for a second did I think Emperor's New Groove? I was like, yes, Little Boy Blue. Okay, I'm Googling this right now. So he, he has like a trumpet. Okay, yeah, I could totally see. Oh, for sure. Look at that outfit, too. Look at that. That fit is on point, though. Those overalls, the blue hat. Gary, with that hair, we gotta make you Goldilocks. Nena, you're the princess and the frog, mm -hmm. but you're basically the princess. Joni, Cinderella, and Sarah, Gretel of Hansel and Gretel. Oh, okay, these all sound like really good characters. I'm really interested to see how they're gonna portray them. Tracy's gonna actually show you the movement. You'll go one, two. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be fun. We're not just doing a regular fashion shoot. I love that. I, I'm liking the concept a lot. I think it's gonna be really interesting, especially if they have clothes that are gonna be flowy because then it's gonna be flowing in the wind. So yeah, this sounds like a really cool photo shoot concept. Just don't flop the hair and the makeup because I feel like it could go south, but so far, so good. I'm frustrated because the past shoot, she really hasn't seen what I really can possess. So I wanted to rock this photo shoot. I don't, I'm not like crazy about it, but I don't hate it. Like, I think it's still a cool look. It's a interpretation of Little Red Riding Hood. So let's see the rest of the outfits. Ready, sweetie? I think she's doing a great job and I love the feedback that the photographer is giving. Everything seems pretty good so far. Gorgeous, honey. Cinderella, it's all about her dress. One, two. So this is the Cinderella look. I, I actually kind of like this one. I think it's cool. I didn't expect to be as physically challenging as it was, but it's definitely, it takes a lot of strength and control. Honestly, it seems so hard to do that because you would probably fall like right here or something or like on your face or your hand. So it's probably really hard to do something like that. I feel like one wrong move and I like break my whole arm <laughs> doing something like this. So they are doing a great job and I like the way that she's flowing out the dress. Yeah. Oh, she killed it. She killed it. And this frame right here, oh my God, beautiful. Love the dresses so far. Love her hair. Yeah, this is this is really cool so far. This is fun. And notice the setup. They have some negative fill right here. They have some, like a black matte board right here to 
add some contrast to the photo. They have this backdrop here. It looks like it's the woods. So, and then they have also like a little spotlight here. So it's, as a photographer, I look at kind of how things are set up so I can learn for my photo shoots. When you're watching these and you wanna know the light setups, you know, pay attention to the photo shoot portion and then where they place the lights, what kind of backdrops they use, stuff like that. Veranda, be careful. <laughs> Do they really have them wearing heels? You gotta give it up to the models. This is so hard. I couldn't even do this barefoot with 50 pillows underneath me, okay? Why did you grow this hair? To get a man. <laughs> Dude, I love her. Right now you look like you're kind of clunking on a map. That's really? What does my face look like? Like you're clunking on a map. He just tells her the same thing. <laughs> oh gosh, at least like let her see a picture. Sometimes what photographers will do is show the models the photos in the back of the camera or in, on the back of the screen so that they can see how they're posing, how their facial expression is, and then tell them like, hey, love this pose. Can you do the same thing, but just like do it this way next time or like refine it. Okay, this is cute. Like I love the look so far. But the falls, I'm not gonna lie. Watching everybody kind of smash into the the mat, even though I know it's safe and everything, it just, yeah. Like the, the inside of me is like, ah, please be careful. They got, they got the EMS waiting out there. One wrong wrist turn. Snap, crackle, pop. Pay attention to what the photographer said and then what Jay said right after that. She was giving some really good constructive critique and then he was just like, oh, well, you look like blow up Gretel. These comments from Jay. A little bit more expression. You know what? I really like the styling so far. They did a fantastic job. Like the hair, the outfit. Everything looks so put together. I can't wait to see these final pictures. We're not even done and I'm like, let's just see the pictures. That last one was a little too happy. It was a little too... <laughs> I was a little nervous. Where I put my head, my um, facial expression. Like, I don't know. I was definitely important to get a good photograph today. She did an amazing job. They've all done so good so far. Wow, how impressive. Oh, I really like her outfit. What is this? Who is she supposed to be? The emperor person? Emperor's new clothes? Give me facial expressions today. Three, plenty. One, two, look at me, three. They have a soft box back here too. And then that little spotlight down there. So I'm gonna be paying attention to that when I see the final photos. Cause now we know where the lights are placed. Well, some of the lights at least. I was honestly as pretty as you, maybe I wouldn't have tried so hard either, girl. It looks like I didn't try hard. I think when you're trying, you're holding it in. If I asked you just to yell, scream on the top of your lungs, go ahead, do it. Go ahead. Ah! That is not screaming on the top of your lungs. I... What is this, like a pop quiz in the middle of it? This exchange here, I don't even know why it's happening. She's falling, okay, for this photo shoot. She's risking her life. So I feel like she's... What more do you want from her? I need you to just jump all the way out. Ah! You need to come out of your shell. With Molly Sue, I might have almost broke her down, but I still got nothing. You think I'm not trying? I know I'm trying, I just am coming up short. How frustrating that he just made up the situation from literally nothing. And he's making her, he literally made her cry. I feel like, well, this was her, you know, third photo shoot. She should have it by now. Okay, this look, oh, she's supposed to be the big bad wolf. So I was like, okay, the hair, okay, the hair is cool. The hair is cool. I'm curious to see how that backdrop's gonna look. Like, is everyone in the woods? Let's see. <laughs> Maybe they were having a bonfire in the woods and Cinderella lost her shoe. I'm just trying to provide, <laughs> just trying to connect the dots here. <laughs> Great. She did so, they're all doing good. I'm just gonna keep repeating myself by saying they're amazing. Oh, and this look right here. Wh which one is she supposed to be? I forgot, <laughs> Wait, let's see. Excellent. 
she almost lost that crown on her head i'm like please be careful like yeah i feel like i would i would somehow get hurt you know i'd i'd leave that that place in in a full body cast they'd ha- leave me on a stretcher the entire photo shoot but they would still save me lunch because i paid for it and i got the salt and vinegar chips why am i thinking about half this stuff i don't even know let's get back to the photo shoot <laughs> she just fell straight back there okay i just want to like offer some support there like hold a pillow under maybe put a mattress under there i know there is a mattress but maybe like a little extra support there underneath ready in slow motion i feel everything from that falling as long as i got a good shot you know i, I can deal with the pain ready how impressive was her posing the way that she was like bending her leg in i mean and falling look at she's falling into a plastic mattress and looking fabulous one two three she needs to come down a little bit what's showing on the the frame is your face anticipating hitting the mat what is that camera that she's using too what kind of can can anyone tell us what camera this is so let's make our way to the judging to see these final photos this week you learned about how to walk the runway by the fabulous miss J. today you're going to be put to the ultimate test vivian westwood is known for having fashion shows that are kind of victorian inspired and a lot of the time she has models wear shoes that are very uncomfortable and very high. They're so uncomfortable that one of the most famous models in the entire world wore them and fell to her booty on the runway. Is that Naomi? Is she really is she really calling out Naomi Campbell? like that wow you know this is not the first time tyra references naomi i'm just saying and knowing that they had a feud and they have a history of not liking each other it's like why bring that up right that's right also if someone like naomi campbell fell in these shoes don't tell me you're gonna put the girls in them don't don't do this don't don't do it no we all know they're gonna do it. Say your prayer, guys. Everybody. These shoes. A new model cannot fall or stumble in shoes like these. <gasps> Even the tiny megaphone can't help me at this very moment. Maybe, no, no. Maybe they're just showing the girls the shoes. Like, oh, hey, th- aren't these pretty? And then just, c- no, they're not. They're not. Close enough. You need to catch some flies. <laughs> so everybody go to the back. We're gonna get those shoes on you. Carrie? No way. Are you serious? That's not even safe, dude. You could break an ankle. It can be very dangerous walking in heels, especially heels that high. Whenever you're ready. Thank, thank you, Tyra. Wow. God bless you. Th- whenever, whenever you're ready to fall in front of all of us, uh huh. Break your ankles. And hit your head on the floor. Thank you, Tyra. Anything else? Oh my god. Okay. Wallah haram. Look, if you want to wear shoes like this, you want to go out in them, great. You're comfortable with that, but to make girls do that, you know, really put themselves at risk to fall and God knows what, I don't think that that's very safe. I couldn't even get these shoes tied if you put me in these. Oh, how concerned. Wow, thank you. Thank you so much for caring, Tyra. Thank you. Make sure your ankles are straight. Okay, now 
Look at Tyra still looking. She's like, she fell 15 times, Tyra. Was that un not enough? There's someone struggling to walk that might break their ankles and they're all like. Brooke. I thought we needed a break for a second. Are you guys good? <laughs> okay, let's continue. They're not, okay, there's some girls that are, are not doing so bad, so that's good. The girls are doing very well, but I just feel like, like this is, I don't know. What do you guys think about this challenge? Is it okay to you guys? Daniel. Oh my God. You okay? Okay. okay? Slow down. She's like, slow down with the challenge that we're making you do that's unsafe. <laughs> Judging test we have ever done. Oh. I was holding my breath the entire time. Then why'd you do it? Like, did did she break her ankle? Keep her, keep her, her foot holding. Okay. Both my feet were just throbbing and pulsating. The okay, doctor's gonna be here. I was like, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this. Because she fell towards the end and she was saying, "Ow!" Hope that she didn't break her ankle. I tried to put my own little runway walk into it and it was bad. Careful. Careful. I fell on my pinky toe when I came from three hours and twisted. So you can't feel any displacement or anything. You're probably just strained. All for what? A challenge that really meant nothing at the end of the day. They're going to be judged on the final photos. So I don't see what the whole point of that was. She's coming back on crutches? That was a very difficult test. So difficult that somebody did what? Brain my baby toe. It hurts, but you know, the best fall down sometimes as long as you get back up. Alrighty, well now it's time for your... She's there in crutches and they don't know, no, the judges don't even ask like, oh, are you okay? We're so sorry. Nothing. And the model just has to uh, brush it off and be like, oh, you know, it's okay. Falling and Jade, here is your best shot. Okay. Not loving the background. It looks like a stock image that they copied and pasted the model onto. But I love the model and, you know, the image itself. I think she looks beautiful. Her pose is really nice. I like the way that the hood is flowing. But like this uh, faded bubble right here, not a huge fan of. Sarah, I think you're just used to the altitude. You manage that perfectly well. Bam. Here's your best shot. Oh, you know what? I'm so disappointed because the background, like, it was such a cool concept and I just don't think the background does it justice. I don't know. It just feels like they're falling into a stock image on DeviantArt or Google or something. You know what I mean? I don't, the, it looks like, does it even look like the trees anymore? Is your best shot. I think she did a great job. Maybe, like, instead of having her hand like this, I would have asked her maybe to, like, redo it like that. But I honestly think she has one of the best poses so far. The wide shot, beautiful. Close up, it's just mediocre to me. All right, up next. Is it just me, or does it seem like Tyra's maybe not in the best mood for this, for this judging? 
I don't know, it just seems like she's very indifferent about everything. These are all really cool. The light is really pretty as well. Her arms creating shape and we have another one up here. So yeah, overall looking good so far. Except for the background, just to clarify. We don't like the background. I'm just <laughs> Does it even look like the woods? It looks like like you know the the cookies and cream ice cream. <laughs> Am I hungry? I am a little bit. Up next is Sanya. I'm coming. Sanya, I thought it was amazing. When you fell and you got up and smiled, that was a great recovery. Let's you know what recovery I'd like for you to mention? The one, you know, when, when she's in the crutches, that recovery. But you're not going to even mention, no? Just ignore the, you didn't see the crutches? Okay. Just making sure, I, I don't, I'm just making sure. The crutches are like the elephant in the room. Like, it's there. It happened and just no one said anything. I like this photo except for the fact that this arm kind of disappears. And I feel like that's such an integral part of the photo because she is falling. So you want to see kind of that movement of a fall. And so that takes away from the photo. Man, they flopped this background so bad. Love like the little bit of light surrounding her as well. They could have gotten any backdrop from Amazon Prime. Overnight shipping would have been there for the photo shoot. Probably would have looked better than this. I'm just can't you just like Photoshop something different in? Maybe a a squirrel in the back? She was snow white. Oh, Danielle, I gotta say, falling is definitely your expertise. <laughs> Let's just keep going. Your face. To fall and still keep your neck and shoulders and that control. Beautiful, beautiful picture. Thank you. Uh so are you talking about the fall in the picture? Or are you talking about the fall that happened like two minutes ago in front of you? Just need clarification. It's just very weird to me that no one's brought it up or offered any type of sympathy. It's just weird to me that it's not been acknowledged more than, oh, well, look what she did. She fell. Which kind of saddens me because these girls really put everything on the line to be in this competition. For you, for like closet drag queen. All right, Brooke, here is your best shot. So her foot is kind of disappearing into this like, Oreo blizzards, snowstorm. I don't like that. But the rest of the photo, like I'm really liking the light so far. Very clean, very even. Her fingers kind of being like this, a little bit distracting. Probably would have been more graceful, but you know what, who am I to talk? You think I could be graceful falling onto a... Here's your best shot. Do you know what? Wow, this is so cute. She's so adorable. I love the dress on her too. Probably just the arm. Maybe if she would just refine the arm, maybe bent her elbow just a little bit. Because when we go from like this to kind of like that, it creates more shape there. Before you even walk in those shoes, I said she's going to be the one that's going to stumble and fall. All right, Carrie, so you had a photo. I'm sorry. What's wrong, Carrie? I just wanted to do well. And it, it was a mess. And I thought it was a mess. Okay, well, hopefully your picture's good. That's what you have to say? She's crying in front of you? That exchange just says it all. I think she looks beautiful. Love the way that she's falling. And she actually has like a different type of leg placement uh, compared to the other girls, which I love. Like the like her dress is flowing. She's showing off the hair, everything. I mean, she's gorgeous. I think she has a great photo. Carrie's got this apple pie. Apple pie. I think just work out and get yourself toned up a little bit. Nothing drastic. Just tone it up and I think it'll really help you. I would show the You made me so nervous. It, I thought it was a rickety. And here's your best shot. Lovely. It's looking a little bit stiff. Maybe had she just loosened up her arms. Wow. Oh, what? she looks fantastic and her like her leg placement is awesome it looks kind of like a ballerina i love the speedy tippy exit speedy tippy she's not tipping and here is your best shot oh this is so cool oh i love hers hers is my favorite my favorite the only thing is her socks are kind of blending into the background she had by far in my opinion the coolest outfit Oh, yeah, this is the best picture for me. She has the best picture. Silly, super tall or has a model proportion, has to be almost perfect. And then you nearly fell off this runway. Gina, why are you smiling so much? I'm trying to stay a little bit positive. It's interesting because the judges are like, who the hell is that girl? 
She's quiet. She seems confused. And then this photo today just makes them say, why is she here? They say the most random stuff. Why is she here? We're thinking, who is this girl? We don't know her. Like, yeah, you do. Her name is Gina and she's in the competition. She's been there for however many episodes. Get a pamphlet with the, this information if you guys keep forgetting. Gina. They put a girl in crutches for no reason. I'm gonna go drink some tea. I can't, I can't do this anymore.